those documents provide a small glimpse into the evidence prosecutors will present if the case ever goes to trial. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt, live in the newsroom. Linda, walk us through what we learned today. Okay, well, a lot of information coming out here today, guys. Trump had fought to stop the release, by the way, today and postpone it until after the election, but the judge said no. Now, earlier this month, a slew of documents were released by special counsel Jack Smith, and this is the second round of those documents related to the January 6th case against Donald Trump. More documents have been made public in the case against former President Donald Trump, alleging he tried to overturn the 2020 election. Included is the letter former Vice President Mike Pence wrote to members of Congress on January 6th as they were about to certify the election results. Trump had tried to convince Pence not to certify, claiming there had been voter fraud. Pence writing, four years ago, surrounded by my family, I took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. Today, I want to assure the American people that I will keep the oath I made to them. So help me God. Special counsel Jack Smith wanted the documents unsealed for the public to see after a U.S. Supreme Court ruling in July that a president is immune from prosecution for official acts. Smith is arguing that Trump's actions were personal and not his official duties as president. During testimony before a congressional committee, a state official in Arizona said Trump tried to get him to decertify the Biden electors and replace them with the Trump electors. The official testifying that Trump said, well, we understood that there's this thing where you would be able to decertify. The official responding to President Trump, I swore an oath to the Constitution of the United States, and I also swore an oath to the Constitution and laws of my state, and I'm going to just willy-nilly do this? No, I'm not going to. The official asks Trump, whose oath should I honor? Trump allegedly responded, the United States Constitution trumps, trumps the state Constitution. The Arizona state official then says, I will not do any such thing without sufficient proof. They certainly didn't have any proof. And also today, Trump blasted the judge, calling her, quote, the most evil person and saying that the document release amounts to election interference. By the way, the election is less than three weeks away. Stephen, Natasha, back upstairs to you. Yeah, so Linda, this information that we're learning, I mean, is it brand mm -hmm. new or is it something that we knew before? Yeah, well, some of this information, in fact, most of it is stuff that we've heard before. But what we're seeing right now is the actual, actual documents being released so that we can read the words on the page. So that's what's brand new here. All right, Linda, thank you so much.